Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayer. Uh, it's September from tomorrow, and it's the beginning of autumn or fall. And fall, I believe, has a profound metaphor for life. Life presents us with a myriad of transitions in our personal life. Uh, relationship transforms, chapter closes, and new beginning unfolds. In such a sense, I think it's time where people can rethink or go further into our mind to really get to know who you are and your true self. In Happy Science, as many of you know, uh, we have the teachings of the Eightfold Path. In other words, eight guideposts to walk on the right path. This Eightfold Path was preached by Shakyamuni Buddha, and it teaches us to find the diamond-like shining, uh, bright, divine light within you, which is originally your true self. So we, we are often carried away by our emotions, such as joy, pleasure, anger, uh, sorrow, emptiness. Every moment, every hour, we hold some kind of emotions in our mind. And Shakyamuni Buddha taught us that controlling your emotion is very crucial in life because that would elevate your personality. It means that uh, you, are you are the controller of yourself, of your mind. You are less, less likely to be influenced by the outside factors. And this is the difference between a human and, a, and, an, and an animal. Uh, fortunately, we are still human beings. We can control our minds and we are expected to control and gain peace of mind, peace in mind, to elevate our personality. So exactly how do we do that? Uh, this is where the Eightfold Path comes into play. Right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right living, right effort, right will, and right meditation. All of them has the word right in it. This is because we need to check from the right perspective. And ultimately speaking, uh, that is from the eyes of God, Buddha, or El Kantari. So right faith, right beliefs is the prerequisite. It is not just the criteria from a viewpoint of this world, this three-dimensional world. This is the tricky part, and this is the point that we must not misunderstand. Although that we have, although we have the laws of the hu laws that humans created in this world, we need universal standards, a universal law to transcend nations, borders, backgrounds, races, religions, and because this world is not the real world, we are spiritual beings, and this earth is a training ground for our souls. The laws of this world cannot punish or prohibit people from cursing someone to death, can they? So they can't find, so, but the spiritual, but spiritually seeing, the universal law in the universe can give a decision that that's evil. So the Eightfold Path, which comes from the perspective of the higher realms, is needed to look back on your thoughts and deeds to keep you in the right track. So let's look into Eightfold Path a little bit further. One, right view. Are you examining and seeing people rightly? For example, are you judging people by their appearance or their performance or their results? Are you trying to see what kind of efforts and actions they took in order to succeed? Two, right thought. Do you have the mind of knowing contentment? Are you blaming the environment or the people around you? Are you influenced strongly by the people's words and actions? Three, right speech. Do you lie to people? Do you overly praise people because you want to be liked? Are you hurting anyone's feelings? Four, right action. 
Are you doing things that are embarrassing if others sees you? For instance, having secret affairs or cheating. So basically, right action need to be something that contributes to the evolution of your soul. If the soul is degrading, then that's a bad signal. Uh, five, right living. Do you have a good daily habit? For example, what do you do when you go back uh, home from work or school? Do you watch YouTube, Instagram, uh, Netflix, endlessly? Right living is about making the most effective use of your time and lifestyle. Uh, six, right effort. Are you making effort every day? Are you trying to progress every day? This is to ask yourself, what are, what are the essential attitudes of those who are truly seeking enlightenment? So your energy towards doing uh, work or activities must be facing the construction of utopia or the realization of the will of God or Buddha. So you must check your spiritual discipline here. Uh, seven, right will. Do you have a plan or a will that serves your life or the society that brings happiness? Do you have a positive, constructive, and bright, uh, concentrated mind? Uh, lastly, eight, right meditation. Do you have time to calm your mind and do self-reflection or give gratitude to people? So these are the eight guideposts. The the true Eightfold Path. And we live in a busy world um, and we can easily lose our minds because we interact with people from many different backgrounds affecting each other. But if you know the Eightfold Path, the eight guidelines, this will definitely innovate you and you can get along with people in a healthy state of mind. Establishing good human relationships. If you're not getting along with people, uh, you may want to reflect on your uh, right speech. If you are negative in yourself, you may want to reflect on right view. So it is important to develop the habit of dealing with your own mind, catch the emotion that comes up in your mind, and observe them. So this is like the introduction to the Eightfold Path. Yeah, but it's better to start earlier. Um, what I want to recommend is The True Eightfold Path, this book. If you haven't read this, or um, I prefer you to read this. And also, in your daily prayers, if you have this sutra, uh, there is Buddha's teaching, The Eightfold Path. So every day when you recite this, you will receive light and you can calm your mind and gain peace of mind. Okay, so now let's recite Happy Science Prayers together. Lord Alcantari, Master Riho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to garden and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven. 
and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prison of Buddha, there appear the seven colors of rainbow, arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil 
and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a nice day.